Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to part 5 of Admin User Access Level Management in Firebase. So initially I thought of making only 4 part but now I think I should make 5th one because there is uh, one thing that I left there that was uh, I haven't checked or I haven't implemented the check boxes and a few of you guys wanted me to do that. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to implement the checkbox on registration activity and based on the checkbox selected we are going to insert the flag into the database and based on that flag we are going to redirect the user to uh, appropriate activity okay. So let's say we have teacher and student account and at the time of registration user can choose if they are signing in as a teacher or as a student. And if they are signing in as a teacher, once they sign in, we will send them to the teacher activity or some sort of uh, activity that has the operations available to the teachers. And we'll also make sure that if the user is creating account as a student, then we are going to let them go to the uh, student activity. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So this is the extension of for fourth previous part that I have uploaded on the channel. So if you haven't watched those, then you should go and watch it. I will link that playlist on the description and you can come back and continue from here. Otherwise, let's go ahead and start. So here you can see I have my Android Studio open and I'm going to open this project. And if you want the source code of this project, I'm going to link that in the description. And if you just, if you are just following along from the part one, then you don't really need to do that because you already have the source code, okay? So let's go ahead and start writing the code. So the project is open here and you can see in the registration activity, the layout has these check boxes, right? The register as teacher and register as student. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the data from this and uh, we will also make sure that when account, when user is creating the account, they should check one of this option and it is most for them. If they do not check one of this option, then we're going to display the error. So we need to handle some sort of uh, uh, validation there and we'll do that. So let's go into the registered Java file and start extracting the data. So first things first, in the validation field, we will check if the data is selected or not, okay? So here you can see we have check all this data, right? And now just after this, we will perform the checkbox is selected or not. Okay, so checkbox validation. All right. But before that, uh, we need to have we need to connect the XML resources with the variables. So I'm going to create the checkbox variable for our register at as teacher and register as student checkboxes. So the variable of the type is the type of variable is checkbox, okay, and uh, is teacher box and is student box, okay. And now uh, let's select the resource. Now let's select the XML resources for this. So is teacher box, and we already have the ID given to those checkboxes in the layout, so it would be easier for us to select that. So is teacher is the ID and is student find view ID r dot id dot is student. Okay. Now we can perform the we can call the various method on this uh, checkbox variables. So here at the validation field, we are going to check if any of those are uh, field is checked or not. So what we can do is we can call the is checked method which returns the boolean value. So if the checkbox is checked then it's going to return the true otherwise it's going to return the false value. So based on that value we will perform the validation here. So let's perform that. So is teacher box and is checked. So this is going to return true value if the box is checked okay or student box is checked so is student box dot is checked so we are using the um, or logic here because one of these but one of these checkbox should be checked so at a time user cannot check the two but uh, two boxes because obviously user either can create the teacher account or student account right so that's why we are using the that's why i'm using the or logic here so 
if one of these condition is true we will uh, let the user know that our validation is successful so in our case what we are trying to do is we are trying to che check if any of this is not checked okay so let me just add not at the beginning so that if uh, this condition is true so if both of the uh, boxes are not checked it's going to return true because if this is zero and this is zero then this both thing is zero if any one of this is true then it's going to return true but we have not here so it's going to be false okay so it's not going to call this block of code so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to toast select the account type okay um so i hope you understood what i did here if not let me know in the comment below and i'll just explain it to you again okay i know sometimes i might be sound confusing to you so let me know in that comment box if you do not understand this section here but once again uh, we are checking if any of this box is checked or not and if any of this if both of these box is not checked then it's going to return false and when this return false we are using the not operation here that means the false becomes true and if this condition is true we are going to call this toast message and we will return the user to the same activity and they'll uh, receive this message select the account type okay so now uh, till here we have we have uh, validated the checkboxes now the challenge is to identify which box is checked okay and one more challenge is to find out um which of this uh one, one more challenge is that we need to let the user select one of the uh, check boxes at a time so they cannot check uh, two boxes simultaneously or at a time okay so currently if i run this application and show you guys uh you can actually check both of them together okay at once so uh, you know what i'm just going to run this and show you guys what i'm talking about so let me connect my device okay uh, you can see the app is running here and now i can check as register as teacher and register as student um, both the checkbox at once and we should not uh, let the user do that because user can only a uh, user can create only one type of account at a time okay so we need to fix uh, we need to take care of this condition through the programming so in the registered java file uh, we can perform few checks and uh, uh, make sure that user is checking only one of those two checkboxes okay so here uh, just before the register button i'm going to let the user uh, i'm going to check that condition okay so check boxes or something okay for uh, now what i'm going to do here is to let the user check only one of these boxes i need to listen to the event that is uh, that is when user check on one of these boxes and if user check on register as teacher boxes and i'll check if this uh, registered student is checked or not okay and if this button is checked then i'm going to unselect it programmatically and if user uh, select on this one and if this is already checked then i'm going to uncheck it so i'm going to make sure that only one of these uh, bo check box is checked okay so this might sound confusing so let's go ahead and dive right, in, right into the programming so that you will understand by the end of this thing okay here what i'm going to do is we already have the variable so is student box and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the uh, listener here actually i need to set on check listener here so on check change listener so if any changes happens in the checkbox it's going to call this particular method so it's going to use compound button class here so compound button on check change what i'm going to do is i'm going to check if compound button dot is checked then i'm going to uncheck the another button that is currently i'm checking if student box is checked currently a uh, user is checking the student box here that means i will uncheck the other boxes that is teacher box okay so regardless if they have checked it or not it's just going to uncheck it so i'm going to set it as true uh, sorry false actually so in this case if 
student box is checked it's going to uncheck the teacher box okay and similar thing uh, I'm going to perform the similar operation in teacher boxes that is each teacher box and I'm going to set the uncheck listener and here we are going to perform the same thing that is compound button dot is checked compound button currently represent this teacher box okay you need to uh, understand that and if that teacher box is checked I'm going to uncheck the student box okay so that user won't be able to check two boxes at a time so set check is false now let's run this application and see the things in action so that you'll understand clearly okay let me go to the create account section here and now if i try to check uh, both of these check boxes see what happens okay now i'm i have checked the registrar teacher check box now i'm going to check the registrar student now you can see the registrar teacher is already unchecked okay here you can see i can check uncheck it and if I try to click on create account then it's going to give the error let me just fill this data quickly and now uh, without checking any uh, without checking this option if I try to create the account let's see what happens and it says select the account type okay because that condition that we have checked at the time of validation okay so the general logic is done now when the data is filled perfectly we will come back here and we will change this so first we'll check if is teacher box is checked condition here okay if the teacher box is checked then we will put here is teacher as a one that one is actually doesn't matter but anyway and in other case if that is not the case I can just write the else condition here but uh, what I'm gonna do is check the condition manually because that is much better so is a uh, student box is checked then I'm going to put the user info as a each is student okay so in this way we will save one of this data into the database when user create the account in that way we can go ahead and identify if the user is creating the account or the student is creating the account and here as we as I described in the earlier videos, we are setting the data, we are saving the data. And now based on this data available to us, we can re redirect user to the uh, admin activity or in the um, student activity. So here in this project, I don't have the student teacher activity, but I do have admin and the main activity. So admin activity is uh, open when the admin is logging in. And the main activity is open when the user is logging in, right? So if you have watched the previous videos. So in this uh, case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, send the user. If the teacher is logging in, I'm going to send them to the admin. Okay. And if the student is logging in, I'm just going to send him to the main activity. Okay. So in the login, I'm going to check that. So here, if I scroll down, we have already checked that actually. Here you can see. If admin is logging in then we are sending them to the admin activity and if user is logging in we are sending them to the main activity now here all I have to do is create or add check is teacher and instead of is user is student all right now let's run this and let's see if our app is going to work the way that I want it to work so let's see okay let's go ahead and create the account right now let's create the student account first okay now I'm going to register as a student and let's create the account okay it says account is created and now I'm redirected to the main activity that that means uh, here you can see is if a student is logging in we are going to main activity and uh, just to make sure let's go to the firebase console and see the data and there we should see is student equals to one uh, in the data that we have just created to the user data of the user data that we have just created account for so let's go to the console 
okay so we have three users here so let me select the one that I have just created I don't know which one that is so let me okay so this, this is the student account that I have just created and you can see each student is one okay so that means we have created the student account now let's log out from this app here and let's go ahead and create the teacher account so create account teacher at mail.com now I'm going to check register as teacher because I have all I'm I'm trying to register as a teacher now so create account and it says account is created and currently you can see I'm into the uh, normal account I don't know why so we'll just go ahead and see okay you can see uh, we are registering as a teacher and it says teacher is one but here uh, I'm logged in as a normal user so it should be uh, in the admin activity so let's see what ha happened here 